Hey, this is Dan Kidder with the Amateur Outdoorsman. Today we're going to talk to you about cooking with cast iron. Just because you go camping doesn't mean you've got to pour hot water into a pouch and eat something that's been rehydrated. You can eat really well in the outdoors and all you need for that is a Dutch oven, a griddle, a camp stove, and some good old fashioned cast iron. And today we're going to talk to you about cooking with cast iron. All right, so we're going to do a Dutch oven beef stew. It's a real simple recipe, real easy to prepare in the field. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our Dutch oven and we're going to get this thing screaming hot. So we're going to start it right now. Get that going, get it up to temperature because we're going to do all of our sauteing in this Dutch oven. So we want it really hot to hold that heat. So when we put our ingredients in there, they can start to saute. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our stew meat. This is already pre-cut from the butcher and we're going to put it in a bowl. And I like to lightly flour the stew meat, put a little salt and pepper on it. And this is going to just give a little coating to our stew meat. A little more. And then we're just going to take a little S and P and then just give that a little toss with our flour. And that meat is all ready to go into that hot Dutch oven. All right. So one of the things about uh, cast iron is when it comes from the factory, most of your cast iron is already pre-seasoned. So they've already sprayed it down with oil. They've already heated it up and they've gotten that cast iron ready. After you've used it for a while, you're going to have to clean it and you're going to have to re-season it. So these are a couple of products from Camp Chef, one of my favorite outdoor companies. And you have a cast iron cleaner so that you can clean this without damaging the seasoning. And you have cast iron conditioner so that you can re-season that cookware. And then we like to use a, a chain mail, a stainless steel chain mail for getting out all your uh, cooked in, baked in stuff. Um, it's not going to damage that metal in there. So you're not going to be scrubbing it with steel wool or soap. Uh, this is going to help get that out. So these are a couple products that can help you prepare and maintain your cast iron. All right, you can see this thing is screaming hot. I'm going to throw some olive oil in it and you'll see. And I like to use an, uh, an oil with a high smoke point on it. So you can see I'll just dr dribble a little in there and you can see it's starting to dance already. So that's going to give us a good base. You can see it smoke in there. So now we're going to go ahead, toss in our meat. That's going to drop down the temperature so we don't ignite that oil. And it's going to start sizzling. I'm going to dump everything on the ground. <laughs> I like to use tongs to move it around, give it a good browning. And at this point, I'm turning the heat totally off. So if I was doing this over an open fire, I would take it off of the fire. And I'm just going to use the heat that's trapped in that cast iron to go ahead and brown that. So this is just trapped heat in this cast iron right now. There is no fire under this cast iron. We're just using that captured heat that we've stored in there by putting it in the flame or sticking this in the fire, getting it good and searing hot. And that's going to hold its heat for a long time. It's one of the reasons I really like to use cast iron when I'm out camping. I eat good when I'm out camping. All right, so while our meat is searing back here, we're going to go ahead and get our prep done. You can do this in advance, but uh, we're just doing this on the fly. So we're going to go ahead and get our vegetables all prepped. And we're going to saute them in that same captured heat of that Dutch oven. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and incorporate all of these nice vegetables in here. And I'm going to reignite here. We're going to let those saute, get a little bit of brown and caramelization on them, get them a little softer before we add any liquid to it. You see that heat picks right back up again once we put it over the fire. So you can go ahead and season this however you want. I find when I'm out camping, it's, it's kind of a pain to bring a lot of different seasonings with me. So something real easy like uh, this McCormick beef stew mix, um, something you can dump in there. It's going to provide all kinds of seasonings and thickeners for your sauce, for your, your beef stew gravy. And I like to let that get in there with the oil and the meat and everything. And it almost forms sort of a roux. And uh, well, if you could smell this, your mouth would be watering already. And now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover this Dutch oven. 
so that that steam and everything can get in there. And I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. If I was over an open campfire, I would just arrange my fire in such a way that I'd create a little distance from the coals or from the fire so that I could uh, control that heat, and turn it down just a little bit because we're gonna wanna get this to a simmering point. Okay, so at this point, we wanna get some liquid in here so that we can create our good sauce and start to stew these vegetables. And I don't want to have too much liquid. And I'm going to add a little flavoring with some red wine. You don't have to add the flavoring, but I find the alcohol helps break down the vegetables a little bit. And it also just adds a nice flavor and aroma to the entire thing. And whatever you don't use in the stew, you can drink. So use a wine that you would drink. And in a box like this, it's a real convenient way to dispense. And then keep it fresh for drinking later. So now we've got this back on the heat. We've got it on a nice mild heat. This Dutch oven, the great thing about cast iron is it heats very evenly. So it's gonna distribute that heat all around the Dutch oven. And a Dutch oven is an actual oven. So while it looks like a big pot, it's an oven. When I put this on, all of that heat is gonna to continue to circulate inside of there. So you can actually bake cakes with this. We're gonna do a cobbler later, peach cobbler in this Dutch oven. So it's an oven, it's a pot, it's a frying pan. It has so many uses in just this one uh, piece of equipment. And it's a great thing to take with you when you go out camping. It is a little heavy, you're not gonna backpack with this, but it, it serves multiple purposes. So you're gonna wanna have one of these to take with you. You see we've got a beautiful brown sauce simmering in there. It'll thicken up over time. You get all those vegetables nice and soft. That looks like sausage, but it's not. It's those purple potatoes. And it's gonna be a beautiful stew, very simple to make. And watch this magic. I'm gonna cover this up, snap my fingers, and it's gonna be done. There we go. Through the magic of television, we have beautiful beef stew and we're gonna let that actually cool down a little bit. As it cools, it's gonna thicken just a little bit more. Let's give her a taste. Oh, that's good. It's one of my favorite things to make in camp. Keeps well, feeds a lot of people. It's not expensive, very simple to make. And it keeps you warm. It's a hearty meal. This is a great meal for camp. So I'm just rinsing out the majority of the leftover beef stew sauce, getting that out of there. And then I'm just gonna heat some water up. So I have some hot, warm water, and I'm gonna use some of the Camp Chef cast iron cleaner in our chain mail scrubber. So I'm gonna take our chain mail stainless steel and I'm gonna use that to just kind of scrub out any baked on food, loosen it all up. And this is not gonna scratch that finish. I'm not pushing real hard. I'm just getting the food out of there. Okay. And I've got some warm water here. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. sure it's not hot still. I'm gonna swirl it around. And you can see I've still got some food matter in there. So I'm gonna use some of this cast iron cleaner. It's a nice blend of there's some wax in there, there's some uh, citrus oils, you've got orange oil, lemon oil, vitamin E is in here. So it's gonna really help preserve um, this Dutch oven. I'm gonna add in some more of that warm water. Use that to wash out my Dutch oven. Some more of our warm water. Give it a good rinse. Now I don't want to store this the way it is because I've taken some of the, the seasoning and the finish off. So I'm going to recondition that and I'll show you how to do that next. 
So we've got our cast iron clean. We want to re-season it, recondition it before we put it away for storage. So it's still got some dampness on it. I've wiped most of the water off on it. If we leave any moisture on there, it's gonna create places that can rust. So I just use the stove itself or the fire to dry it. I just put the empty cast iron skillet or a pod or skillet or whatever on there. And I'm gonna let it get hot and that's gonna evaporate and wick away all the water. And then we're gonna recondition it with some of this cast iron conditioner from Camp Chef and uh, wipe it down with that and it'll be ready to store. So we just spread that conditioner around. I get it hot, you don't have to get it hot. You just need to get it clean and dry. I like to do it while it's hot. It just kind of helps soak it into the pores of the metal. And then when it cools down, it'll have a nice condition on it. Be ready for storage. Cast iron is really not that difficult to maintain. People get really concerned about it, and it's really not all that difficult. This has been Dan Kidder with the Amateur Outdoorsman. As we like to say, don't just sit there, do something. <laughs>